what's up guys Joker here today I've got the Logitech G920 in on the channel and I wanted to show you how to get it up and running so I'm going to use American Truck Simulator as an example to show you how to do that as a big fan of the series going back to the SES Scania games and Euro Truck Simulator I've really been looking forward to this game for some time but I have to admit that up until now I've always played these Euro these trucking simulator games on a mouse and keyboard, which I know is an absolute travesty to the simulator community. So I had to get in something like the Logitech G920 for ATS's launch to have something to help me out with that and hopefully pass along my experience to you guys and show you guys how to get the steering wheel up and running. First, when you get the Logitech G920, it does come with the steering wheel along with the pedals, which have your clutch, brake, and accelerator. So if you wanted to use a manual shifter, you could, but you do have to actually purchase that separately. It's an additional add-on that you have to buy in addition to the Logitech G920 itself, which ships for around $399. And I also want to mention that there is another version of this, the Logitech G29, which is compatible with the PS4 and PC, which has a couple of additional features on the wheel itself. But other than that, the only difference is the compatibility with either PS4 or Xbox One. This particular model, the G920, being compatible with the PC and Xbox One. The pedals themselves have a really good build quality, having a metal feel and a decent amount of feedback as well when I am pushing them down to the floor. And I'd never had an issue with the actual unit itself for the pedals sliding along my carpet. There's an actual grip on the bottom that does keep it in place. So having this move around when I was when I was pushing on it quite hard, um, you know, even just pushing the brake down to the floor in some cases on American Truck Simulator was not an issue when I was playing. The wheel itself also has a really premium build quality with a leather like feel and the shifters themselves also are a metal type material just like that was used on the pedals themselves and they feel really good and satisfying when you use them with your left and right clicks as you're using them for your signal indicators in American Truck Simulator. This is just one of those things that adds to that immersion factor. I mean, you've got the wheel, you've got your, your accelerating, your brake and all of that's there with the shifter, but having those little extra things like the shift, like the, the blinkers in place and having the physical thing to touch to actually signal my turns. It's just one of those things that adds to the whole experience for me on American Truck Simulator. I just really want to drive that home. Um, also along on that, you've also got your D-pad, so you can use that in the game if you do want to look around. Now, it's worth noting that if you were going to use a steering wheel like this, it's probably advantageous to think about getting something like an IR tracker, which would allow you to move your head around and have it actually control the game for you, which I thought about doing, but with Oculus Rift right around the corner and the HTC Vive, it really doesn't make a lot of sense for me to invest in one of those, so keep an eye out in the future where I'm going to do a follow-up on this and actually using the Oculus Rift along with the Logitech G9 20 on games like Project Cars and American Truck Simulator. Your pedals, power brick, and optional shifter all plug in on the bottom side of the steering wheel. They do have routing cables here to try to keep things as tidy as possible, but there's really not a whole lot you can do to tame this octopus of cables that's going to be coming out of the back of the G920 when it's all said and done. So just be prepared for that. To attach the steering wheel and shifter to your desk, just go ahead and loosen the two knobs up on top and then tighten them down until it is snug on your desk and will not move as you are turning it. Be, be mindful that it does use forced feedback and vibration, so make sure that it is quite secure before you do actually start using it. Otherwise, it will have a tendency to move around if you don't secure it down tight enough. So once you have everything plugged in, your wheel will go ahead and center itself and then you can proceed to getting the necessary software to get the G920 set up. So to do that, you're going to go over to the Logitech website, which I will link to down below so that you can download their gaming software that you can use to manage all of your devices that you're going to be using here with the G920 and do all your configuration, manage your profiles, etc. So once you have the Logitech gaming software downloaded, go ahead and open it up on your desktop and you will see if you have everything connected properly, it should identify that you have your pedal, steering wheel, and shifter connected to it so that you can go ahead and then click into them and manage those individual devices as you would need to. The first thing you're going to want to do once you're in here is go ahead and open up on the steering wheel and we can go ahead and add our profile now for American Truck Simulator. To do that, come up to the profile section up here and click the plus icon and you can name it whatever you want 
want. So if you were putting in a different game, you can name it whatever. But for this purpose, I'm going to be naming it American Truck Simulator. And then we're going to come to the add icon right here. And from there, you're going to locate whatever your game you're adding on to this. So for me, American Truck Simulator, I have in my games folder and it's installed in my Steam library. So I'm going to go ahead and open all that up right here. And I'll put down in the description below where all of this is where I'm going to. Once you have the American Truck Simulator executable added, you can go ahead and hit OK, and that will close out of there, and then we'll add it into your list of profiled games, and here you can actually go ahead and manage it here. You could test the profile if you want to, so if you want to just go ahead and open up and test the buttons to make sure that they're all registering properly, then you couldn't go ahead and do that. It does show ahead on the screen here what the different buttons are corresponding to, so you know what they are going to show up in game when you're mapping your specific buttons. It's also worth noting that when you are in here in the Logitech gaming software, if you want to adjust anything like your sensitivity for your pedals or your steering wheel, that you can do that just by right clicking and adjusting the sensitivity within here on by default, the sensitivity is set to 50%. And like I said, you can do that for the pedals as well as the steering wheel, but most of the games you're going to be playing, at least American truck simulator will have options within the game itself that you can adjust in addition to what you're going to see here in the gaming software. The last thing I would concern myself with in here maybe is in the cog wheel. You can go into your settings and manage some other basic general settings for the G920 as well as updating firmware and managing your profile. So if you want to do that and have some further customization, you can do that within here. All right, so once you've got everything done in Windows, you can go ahead and come in American Truck Simulator, and there really isn't much else you need to do in here. You can go into your options and the controls in here so you can get a little bit further customization. You do want to make sure that your keyboard and Logitech G920 are selected up at the top right here and that you are set on the steering wheel. From there, you do want if you are using a shifter, if you want to use manual, you can use the sequential or H shifter, or if you're not using a shifter and you want to use automatic, then you can do that in here as well. They do have further customization for your sensitivity, force feedback, and many other options so you can really customize a lot of this in here to just get everything fine-tuned to the way that you would want it to play the game and everything you know really just set up for you and that's really what I've done here and I hope that you guys do that as well and if you're fans of American Truck Simulator then let me know down in the comments below because I'm looking forward to doing some more content in the future with the G920 on American Truck Simulator and especially when I get that Oculus Rift in so keep an eye out for that in the future and I will catch you guys next time. Turn up.